Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just wanna make a list of my top 10 favorite summer scents for this year, summer or hot weather. Initially, I wanted to do the best hot weather fragrances, but best hot weather fragrances are technically best summer fragrances, except for really summer night. I'm not including summer night because this is hot weather slash summer. I try to pick like a lot of different categories and my favorite from each category. I actually have a lot of honorable mentions in this video, so we'll jump right into those. I'm not going to show you the bottles of my honorable mentions, but I do have the bottles of each fragrance in the top 10. So my honorable mentions are... Nautica Voyage, Barbershop, First Instinct Blue, Blue Fire, and Hunter Intense. Nautica Voyage, very, very solid. Everyone knows how, just good projection overall, just a very solid summer scent. Um, Barbershop by Happy Land Fragrances, very, very solid scent, very citrusy and strong. First Instinct Blue, very solid, um, kind of fiercey blue style scent. Didn't really last long enough to make this list. Blue Fire, another one from Happy Land Fragrances, I really, really liked it. It was actually going to be number 10, but I sprayed it up again. And it has a little bit of this object equality and something I wouldn't want to spray in the super, super high heat, but I still really like it. Happy Land Fragrance is Blue Fire. And then Hunter Intense, so I'm very, very solid fragrance. One of my favorites, kind of blends Sauvage and Invictus, and those are both summer scents. I really can't say anything bad about them, and you could really use them all summer long. But those are the honorable mentions. Let's jump into number 10. This fragrance number 10, this fragrance almost didn't make the list, but I decided to put it in the list, and that is Azaros Wanted. Now, this fragrance isn't a super, super high heat fragrance, but it is overall a day-style fragrance. It reminds me a lot of Invictus. Very good high weather fragrance. It's kind of got a complexity to it. It's got a nice thickness to it. When I spray it on paper, there's a little bit of a quality that I just kind of isn't my favorite in it. But every time that I've sprayed this, I've really enjoyed the projection longevity and it's also gotten compliments. Can't say anything bad about this one and it has grown on me a lot as I was wanted. Number nine, this was another one that was going to be on the honorable mentions, but I had to include it in the top list. And this is the only fragrance that I do not have a bottle of and that is Citrones de Paradise by Babylon Fragrances. Now this fragrance, the only reason that I was not gonna put it in the top 10 is because I find it to be a little bit feminine. It is a unisex fragrance. After smelling these and trying to get really unique fragrances, pull on different elements, I had to include this one on the list. I actually really like it. I sprayed it earlier today and I could almost wear it, although I, it leans a little bit feminine. Certain niche fresh fragrances, they have a, like this really bitter, mature style lemon note and it's in so many niche fragrances and this is probably one of my favorites it's very rough but it's also kind of likable at the same time it kind of has this likable yet mature and niche and i just really really like it citrones de paradise one of my favorites one of my highest recommended summer fragrances if you're a female and this is actually pretty cheap for babylon fragrances i think they're like 50 60 dollars so very very good it's lemons and liquor and waves by jean ray parfums i really really enjoy both these they are a little bit unique they pull on different elements i really enjoy the the cornerstone that these have in my collection waves is supposed to be i guess kind of like an mfk style clone similar to citrones de paradise i think it's not the exact same bottle but it still is from his aqua line so from his summer line it smells a little bit different i don't think it smells as smooth as the original but i'm not really sure which one this copies so i don't know if i have smelled the original i think i've smelled aqua celestia from him citrones de paradise copies the forte version so i don't know which one this one copies but it's very very solid unique uses kind of like the aquatic notes in a different way I do enjoy it and then lemons and liquor one of the most authentic lemon notes that I've ever smelled in a fragrance and I really really do appreciate both these they're definitely something to mix up with the high heat and summer in general so really really like those lemons and liquor and waves very solid the number seven is kind of going to be the Invictus category I spray Invictus Aqua I also spray El Silo and I also spray Rixos so it's kind of going to be any version of Invictus they're very very solid very easy to wear very um, likable summer scents. You really can't go wrong with them. Everybody's hyped them. Everybody's hyped them and they're just fantastic for kind of like younger guys in the summer. You just can't go wrong. Um, for me, I'm gonna use Invictus Aqua and El Silo, but you could go with the original Invictus or El Silo or Armov Rixos as well. So it's up to you guys. One of the first scents I really got into that I enjoyed, very affordable, very, very, very good for summer. And that is Versace's Pour Homme. So, so good. I was wearing this the other day for the first time. Really, really enjoyed it, especially for designers. I've been spraying a lot of really high oil fragrances recently. So sometimes when I go back to designers, I'm like, oh man, I could totally tell a certain roughness or a certain not smooth blending with some of the 
the designers, but this one, although it's not like super, super smooth, I just really, really enjoy it. Spraying it up, one of the best for the summertime. It seems to always continue to be put in people's lists for a good reason. Can't really say anything bad about it. Kind of like this sharp citrusy scent with a little bit, like the smallest bit of creaminess in the background, but overall just a nice sharp citrus. Almost smells like a nice shower gel style scent. Very, very solid. Uh, Versace Pour Homme number six. Number five, one of the bad boys, one of the ones that people are so annoyed from seeing, but it works so well, and that is Dior's Sauvage. Now, Dior Sauvage, what is there to say about this? I've tried so many good clones of this one. I haven't really tried the new variations of it. I have tried the Parfums and other versions. I think the normal EDT is the best for summer, and I actually went back to this version after a while ago, and I just really, really like everything about Sauvage. I've heard other people say they don't like Sauvage because it smells cheap. Other people say they don't like Sauvage because it's overplayed. I sprayed this the other day and I'm like, yep, this is one of my favorite overall summer scents. I could wear this almost every time in the summer. Um, it can be worn in a lot of other situations. It's not like the best for the high, high heat, but whenever it's high heat, you could always wear Sauvage in my opinion and I think it smells good. Number five, Sauvage. As number four, two options for you. The first option I got is Babylon Fragrances Passionate. One of my favorite Creed Aventus clones. And then I have the bad boy Club de Nuit Intense Man. A lot more reviews have been made on this one. You do get more juice for your dollar amount with this one. Very, very solid. But I do got to say that Passionate kind of puts a little finishing touches on the Creed Aventus style DNA. It is overall a little bit over on the smokier, rougher side of the DNAs. Um, some of the newer Creeds actually smell a lot more smooth and a little bit more like vanilla and likable to me. This one's on the smokier side, but I really, really just absolutely love these. Aventus is a DNA you just know you're going to get compliments with. I was wearing this the other day and I was like, you know, that's maybe not my favorite, favorite, favorite smell in the world, but I just know know that I'm be smelling good wherever I go and that's what everybody wants. Number four, Club de Nuit Intense Man and Babylon Fragrances, passionate. It's number three, another tie from two very, very good fragrances. Alexandria Fragrances, Hawaii Volcano and Central Obsessions, Virgin Island Water. Now both these fragrances are going after the same kind of smell. In my opinion, Hawaii Volcano, it's a little bit more on the lime of things. Um, Virgin Island Water is, Virgin Island Water is kind of like coconut, lime and rum mixed into one. And this one's a little bit more on the lime, but it has a lot more longevity and projection. This one's a lot closer to the original version on water. It has a lot of those nuances of the original. And if you've ever smelled the original, it goes away pretty quick. This one goes away, you know, relatively soon, about an hour, an hour and a half projection, but that's how the original is. So this goes after the more authentic smell and projection longevity. This one is a very, very similar smell, a little bit tuned up, but a lot longer longevity and projection. So I know people are probably gonna go for it for that, but I just really, really like both these. I couldn't really knock them off. There also is Central Obsessions Lime in the Sky, which I think is very, very good. But I have for Howard to pick Virgin Island Water or Lime in the Sky for high heat. I'd probably pick Virgin Island Water just because it's like the classic tropical scent. So Central Obsessions Virgin Island Water and Alexandria Fragrances Hawaii Volcano. It's a fragrance I really, really enjoy. I could wear all the time. A fragrance that I really want to gift for people living in the high heat and that is Central Obsessions Millicene Imperial. I only put two Central Obsessions fragrances on this list. I try to put it just to one or maybe put them in the same category, but I find Millicene Imperial and Virgin Island Water to be very, very different style fragrances that you could use at the same time. Millicene Imperial is kind of like this luxurious watermelon and sea salt with a little bit of sweetness in the background. I did compare this to Babylon Fragrances Miami. They had a Millicene Imperial clone. Certain houses I will prefer one clone and other houses I'll prefer another clone, so I actually like that. For Central Obsessions, I actually prefer their Creed's Millicene Imperial 100% over Babylon Fragrances Miami just in that particular instance, but on Tobacco Vini, I prefer a Babylon Fragrances Legend. Central Obsession kind of goes back and forth, but this is my favorite Millicene Imperial clone. I really, really like it. I know people want me to try out the gold Club de Nuit that smells like Millicene Imperial, and I'm sure it's gonna smell good. I actually looked at it online. I think it was like 60 or $70, but I doubt it's gonna be as good as this. Like I'd almost put money that this is gonna be way better. And on top of that, this is cheaper than $70 because that got hyped really high. So I will try that as soon as possible, but for right now, this is my favorite Creed is Millicene Imperial clone. And it's so cheap if you live in the US, so it lasts about as the same as the original. Can't hype this enough. And it is, I think, unisex. It is a little bit unisex leaning, but I think you could wear it as a man fine. And it is probably more manly, in my opinion, than First Town of Water. Number two, Millicene Imperial. It's hard for me to say this is 100% gonna be number one for everybody. I would say things in the top five are just gonna vary depending on who you are. But this one, Babylon Fragrance is the one, really, really is one of those fragrances that kind of hit 
hits in all categories. It's really unique. It's supposed to go after Roja Doves Elysium. If not, I'll correct that on the screen. It just smells very, very good. It's like one of the kings of fresh fragrances. It's kind of got Sauvage mixed with Aventus in one bottle and it's got decent longevity and protection. Apparently the original fragrance has bad longevity and protection. This has average longevity and protection. Like I would say maybe an hour and a half, two hours and then maybe up to like eight to 10 hours on a skin scent, which kind of doesn't make sense because Sauvage and Aventus both have pretty good staying power. So it's weird that you could mix both of them and it'd be hard to make it long lasting. But this one is actually pretty solid. Like I would say it's above average, good, almost great projection. That's where I put it. But it's overall the smell, the uniqueness of it. People like Creed Aventus, people like Dior Sauvage. So you have something that kind of dances in between both. Some of my subscribers have got this fragrance and have confirmed to me what I've already been noticing and that this is a fantastic fragrance. I've had certain people on my, I've had certain subscribers say that they don't know why this isn't number one on my Babylon fragrances list. All the fragrances on this list are very, very good. And if you have, depending on who you are, you're going to like certain ones over other ones. Like if you're a female, like I would totally not recommend you this. I would recommend you the Citrones de Paradise or maybe the Virgin Island Water. But for guys, I would definitely go with the one. Let me know some of your picks down below. Let me know which fragrances I should try out next. I'll be very interested to see. And we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers. I couldn't do it any of you guys. Let's hope you guys are the absolute best. Thank you so, so much. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.